compact air pumps. One off Amazon, just do research, and the other is Crank Brothers, which is a fairly well-known brand. They're both very similar, difference in height. The Vibrelli is 125 grams, Crank Brothers 141 grams. You can tell the difference in weight by holding it. $28, $45 on their site, but I think you can get this around 38 if you don't get it from their site. Both take Presta and Schrader, both have a gauge. Here's the gauge and this one, which is actually very nice. Gauge on this is right in there. I liked that you could choose to put air in your tire anywhere on the tire, whether you want to, whether you like to put air in from the top of the tire, which I rarely see anyone do. I usually see them doing it from the bottom near the ground and some people to the side. So I like the versatility of this as well as the gauge. You can actually see, you know, it rotates around and you can see it no matter where you go. And there's some length there. So you're not shoving your face into the spokes. This one is so set so close and specifically designed pretty much to put air in at the top of your tire, which I rarely ever see anyone do. It's set so close, it should be further down. If you're gonna use the gauge, which why would you buy this one with a gauge if you're not gonna use it? The way I've always done it, I wouldn't be doing it anymore with this particular air pump. I haven't tried it yet. And that's gonna be my deciding factor between the two. I do feel the quality in this, which makes you sort of feel safe, but that doesn't mean that this isn't gonna be amazing. The other factor that is different, this one, you can protect that area with this rubber cap, whether you're using the cage or not. This one, it's attached to the to the cage. Maybe they're figuring, well, if it's inside something, you don't need to protect this from dirt or anything, which may be the case. Maybe this is irrelevant, but such a fine little mechanism in there. I would rather have something to protect it. But again, this this doesn't work. <laughs> so that that's an interesting design choice. This one does have actually something that may be really helpful for some people, especially if you're racing. Something called the high pressure, high volume switch, which is at the bottom. One setting is for a mountain bike and one's for a road bike. The high pressure setting is up to 100 plus PSI. It's easier to pump. You're doing less air at each stroke. The high volume switch is for under 40 PSI for like quick inflation and you can feel the difference. So maybe if you're racing, that might be really helpful. I haven't tried these. That will be my deciding factor. And I didn't try it yet because I'm needing to shoot this video because I'm leaving in a few days. So sorry about that. I can't, I don't have that feedback. <laughs> Pedals. I wanted to go platform. I was considering clipless. I was considering one side platform, one side clipless. Since I'll be doing more dirt and bike packing, getting on and off the bike a lot, no clips for me. I wanted to use what I had, 510 free riders. I'm comparing these two because they were so similar and I couldn't make up my decision. They're both 50 bucks. This is Chester and this is Bond Ranger. I'm just curious about the points of contact and putting it where it lands. The edge ones are borderline with my sneaker. Again, this is subjective based on your shoe. The center bar, maybe it's supposed to actually do that, I'm guessing. Okay, and that's pretty much where my shoe lands. Bon Treasure, they're the same kind of thing. I can already feel these almost feel grippier, just sliding it. I think this might fit my shoe a little better, just looking at how the back is. This has three points, and it looks like it's a little bit better for, again, the sneaker. And this does not touch in the center. So the difference then, visually, this one does look a little bigger. They probably weigh very similar. They feel very similar. This is thicker. More areas in the sense for like dirt to just go through. If you're just put, if you happen to be riding in muddy terrain, your foot's going on and off the pedal. There's a lot of areas for it just to drop through. This it would could gather in here. This has three across the top, and this is the two. So for me, these came out since these represent in a sense the ball of your foot. I'll say. These are sort of to the edge of my sneaker, the way my sneaker is designed. I kind of prefer this only because that's three points of contact versus two. These are hit or miss based on my sneaker design. Let me say it again, based on my sneaker design. These come down with a little more support in the wider part. Whereas in a sense where this hits, but there's no grip. The rear part is sort of the, the same. They're very, very similar. I think they would both be fantastic pedals. I do prefer that. So that's one point for me. And the second point would be, which color do I prefer? And I'm going to tell you right now, I prefer this color. I like the bright. Plus it'll look great with this bike. I'm trying to put my new pedals on. <laughs> <laughs> Going by righty tighty lefty Lucy is on the driver's side with the chain and the other side is the opposite. 16 millimeter. 
that will fit this. Handlebar bags. I initially only bought one. I was really leaning towards Revelate because there's a lot of great reviews. They're nice looking products, beautifully made, and I'm an REI shopper. That's my go-to for a store. And because of the virus, a lot of stuff was back ordered and I'm leaving soon, so I went to Amazon. I couldn't believe how many different products that I found. So I ordered one, Rock Brothers. This is the biggest difference, at least for me. Everyone has certain things that maybe they're looking for, and if you've ridden with bags before, you're gonna see things or notice things that I would never notice since I've never done it. This is the Amazon one, Rock Bros. It's got a great strong material. It's very similar. This has bigger straps to hook up over the handlebar. Those are smaller. This comes with a flap here to tuck stuff under. They both have the bungees. Initially is I bought this little bag, which I still love. Put this up on the top of your handlebar. So you know that you have the top bar one that's right there. It wasn't enough for me. It was like $25. This is also just some random product I found on Amazon. It's strong, it has padding in it. The sweet roll is a medium. It holds 14 liters. It weighs one pound. It's $110. The Rock Bros holds 14 to 15 liters, weighs 1.19 pounds. This is $77, but wait. This one comes included with this big sack. They claim that it holds five to six liters. It weighs 0.22. Comes with the foam, a lot of additional straps. Like let's say you go into a store, you can actually just kind of unhook it almost like a purse. I was getting this whole thing for $77 versus 110 and 25. So Revelate is is a bye-bye. And this is gonna be my setup. This is a very strong material. Well, you can look this up because they actually have a video of this and it kind of attaches like that. Voila, I'm so happy.